Located in the Caribbean Sea Jamaica is a popular destination for summer vacations. With its beautiful, varied landscape of mountains and beaches, nature reserves and farmland, there is plenty to explore. Or maybe you prefer sticking to the private pools of exclusive resorts, or enjoying the convenience of a Caribbean city break. Whatever your preference, Jamaica is a big enough island that there is definitely something to suit everyone. To help you decide where to stay in Jamaica, in today's video, I will be looking at the best areas to stay in Jamaica and the exciting attractions each has to offer. I'll start with Montego Bay. Montego Bay is a major resort town on Jamaica's northern coast. A particularly lively city, Montego Bay is well known for its vibrant nightlife and plentiful shopping streets. Many of the shopping centers here even offer tourists duty-free purchases, an added bonus. The Hip Strip is one of the notorious party areas. Here you will find numerous beachside bars and nightclubs keeping the area lively late into the night. With its west-facing coastline, it's also a fantastic place to enjoy dinner and drinks with a beautiful view of the sunset over the ocean. If shopping is what you plan on spending your vacation time on, there are plenty of opportunities here. You can enjoy multiple shopping centers and shopping plazas, particularly close to the coastline. You can hear the shops for the afternoon and then head straight back to relaxing on the beach. The city has plenty of comfortable beaches for you to enjoy. Doctor's Cave Beach is particularly popular. It's paid entry, which makes it feel exclusive, whilst keeping the crowds to a reasonable level. If you want to take in some of the history of the area, you can visit the remains of Fort Montego. Once an 18th-century British fort, you can explore what is left of the structure and remaining cannons. If you prefer to relax at all-inclusive resorts, you are in luck there too, as there is a good selection to choose from. There are even some right up close to the beach that offer very reasonable rates. Negril is where you will find many of the best beaches in all of Jamaica. Considering that Jamaica is known for its fabulous beaches, that is really saying something. Coral Beach and Norman Manley Beach are both within the town, whilst various others are just a short journey away. Seven Mile Beach is the best known. Believed by many to be the number one beach on the island, and frequently voted one of the best in the world, Seven Mile Beach is just a couple of kilometers north of Negril. Ocho Rios is one of the most popular tourist destinations on the island. Home to an abundance of all-inclusive resorts and family-friendly hotels, this is a particularly popular place for families to stay in Jamaica. Located along the north coast of Jamaica, there are plenty of nearby beaches to enjoy. Ocho Rios Beach and Mahogany Beach are both within the town itself. Easy to get to and offering water sports and beach bars are plenty, these offer both convenience and comfort. Treasure Beach is an area still largely undiscovered by the larger tourist crowds. The beaches here are typically quieter than elsewhere in Jamaica. It's perfect if you really want to get away and relax in the peace and laid-back atmosphere Jamaica is known for. Being located along the west-facing coast, the beaches here are perfect for enjoying the sunsets. There are plenty of bars and restaurants along the seafront to enjoy the view from. Between the quieter atmosphere and beautiful sunsets, this is a great location for a romantic getaway. The largest town on the island and Jamaica's capital city, Kingston is often not the first place people consider when planning a Caribbean vacation. A bustling poor town, there are fewer comfortable beaches to relax on than in other towns across the island. That's not to say there are no beaches at all, however. Although you will have to head a few kilometers outside of the city to find ones comfortable to swim from. Hellshire Bay is where you will find most of the beaches frequented by Kingston residents. Sugarman Beach and Hellshire Beach are both popular for the local food vendors selling delicious fresh fish. Runaway Bay is a little town along the north coast. Established around an 18th century plantation, the area gets its name from being a popular route for people fleeing enslavement. A quiet, local town, this is a great place to avoid the worst of the tourist crowds. Don't worry though, there are still plenty of comforts and amenities to ensure you have everything you need for your vacation. Port Antonio is a small city along the northeast coast of Jamaica. Quieter than other cities on the island, with less of the overly touristy atmosphere. Port Antonio is a great place to stay in Jamaica for those planning a relaxing getaway in a laid-back town. Aside from relaxed, local restaurants and waterfront bars, there are also some interesting landmarks within the Port Antonio city to discover. Folly Point is home to both the Folly Ruins and the Folly Lighthouse, and is just a short walk around the East Harbour. Manville is a bit of a wild card as far as places to stay in Jamaica go. For an island known as a destination for laid-back beach holidays, a tiny inland city would probably not be most travellers' first choice. If you are looking for somewhere to experience authentic Jamaican life, away from the affectations of the tourism industry, this is a great choice. With few foreign visitors to cater to, Manville really has that laid-back vibe than Jamaica is known for. 
so those were the best places to stay in Jamaica. By now you should be feeling more familiar with the various areas of the island and what Jamaica has to offer, and have a better idea of where is best for you to spend your Jamaican vacation. With that decision out of the way, it is time to get on with finding your perfect hotel.